Hi Wiz Kids, and welcome back to our new series, which is our Christmas series, the best time of the year. I have my Christmas jumper on uh, for this teaching today, and I hope you've all had such a fabulous week. And now that it's December, I hope you're enjoying your advent calendar every day, and you're excited for the countdown for Christmas. So our new series is called The North Pole News, and we're on week two. Um, so as always, there's always a video before you should be watching this one. So go and watch the part one for this week um, to learn our story. But don't worry, we will be doing a recap as well, um, just in case you've forgotten. Um, but before we get into doing a recap, I am going to make you play a game. So you're going to need a pen and a piece of paper for this game. And I am going to give you 30 seconds to write down as many things as you can that are impossible for you to do, but you wish you could do them. Okay? Does that sound all right? So go get your pen and paper, come back, and I shall start a timer. Okay, so your 30 seconds start now. So 30 seconds to kill while you're all writing down what is impossible. Maybe I'll tell you a few things that I would like to do. I'd like to fly, walk on water, that'd be pretty cool. Um, Read minds. Oh, that'd be good. Bit scary though, wouldn't it? You don't know what people are thinking. Um, what else? X-ray vision. That'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah. Ooh. No! Ah! Time! I didn't know if it was going to make a sound, but it did. Okay. I hope you managed to write a lot of things down. Count out how many you wrote down and... If you got more than five, I think I said four. So if you got more than five, you're a winner. Um, and then we're going to do the same again. But this time, it's a little bit harder. You're going to have to use your brain a bit more. Um, I want you to think of impossible things that God did in the Bible that was impossible for us to do on our own. So I will give you an example. I said it in the last 30 second break about walking on water. Obviously, we learned last series that Peter walked on water. That's an impossible thing that God helped us do. So that's an example for you. So have a think about some other things and your 30 seconds starts now. Wonder who else you can think of. Um, might give you some hints in a few seconds if you're really stuck. Um, how about Moses? Remember what Moses did? Hmm, that's a good one to think about. How about the three uh, people? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. What happened with them? That's pretty impossible. Um, yeah, that's all I'm giving you. Okay, and that is time again. So if you got more than three on this one, as I gave three examples, I think. So if you've got more than that, then you're a winner in my books and a big thumbs up from me. So well done. Um, so that was just to get you to think about impossible things. But now I am just going to recap our story that was told on the other video. Um, just so you can have a quick recap before we have a little chat about it. So let's get on with it. So our story today comes from Luke 1 verse 26 to 55, which as always is a long, 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 long verse or piece of scripture, I should say. Anyway. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick recap of what happened. You should have also read, uh, listened to the other video as well. Um, but you can get your Bibles out and read along if you want more detail. Um, but our story happens in Nazareth in Galilee. And there was a young lady called Mary. And she was just going about her day when the angel Gabriel came to her and said, Do not be afraid. The Lord is pleased with you. Um, you will have a son and you'll call him Jesus. Now, Mary was very confused and said, well, I'm not married yet. How is this possible? How am I going to have a baby? But the angel replied to her that the Holy Spirit will come down on you and you will become pregnant. And who was she becoming pregnant with? I think we all know this, but she was going to be giving birth to the son of God, Jesus. Um, and spoiler alert, as I hope you do know, but just in case you don't, um, Mary did give birth to Jesus and he was the one that died on the cross and saved us all, which just shows that this impossible thing happened to Mary um, because God can make anything possible. So let's have a little discussion about this. So 
you should already have a pen and paper from our game earlier. Um, and also, if you wrote down about uh, Jesus being born in one of the impossible things, that's I'm going to give you an extra three points to add up to your total because um, that is a really good example and the whole point of this series. So well done to you. Um, but we'll quickly get on to discussion. Question one, what's going on in your life that feels impossible for something good to come out of it? Give you a chance to write. You can always pause it if you need more time. And question two, can you think of any way that God can help in that situation? Maybe you can think of some of the examples from the Bible. That's a good, that's a good one. And your final question is, if something feels impossible, what should we do to get help from God? How do we do that? How do we ask for help? And um, yeah, so that's your three questions. And that is the end of this week's teaching. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you did really well in the game at the beginning and learned something new about this story that I'm sure you've all heard before. Um, and if not, I hope that you learned something new as well. Um, so I hope you all have a really good week and enjoy all the chocolate that you're getting from your advent calendars and I shall see you all really soon. Bye guys!